Welcome everyone. So I'm going to be talking about Pelipper. Um, this is going to be an extremely straightforward and relatively boring video. Um, that's a joke, by the way, at least the second part. Um, I just don't like Pelipper. <laughs> I'm sure most people don't like it. It's a pretty unpopular Pokemon. It's just fucking dumb. Like, I, I, it's like one of it's there's like a handful of Pokemon in the game that I just don't like. Like, even probably less than a handful. Like, I like I like most Pokemon, but Pelipper is just I just don't like it. Like, there's nothing appealing about it to me. Um, however, it is a great Pokemon, even without buffs, um, purely because it has Drizzle and it's a water flying type uh, with Drizzle, and that's just that's just a really good trait. Um, it, its stats could be exactly the same as Vanilla, and it would still be a pretty decent Mon. Although it would be kind of crappy given the very high power levels in this hack, so I did have to give it a lot of new tools nonetheless, despite the fact that I dislike it. You know, I'm not I'm not gonna let that. Uh, I'm not going to let that hinder the changes here or make it any worse than it would be otherwise. So, um, Pelipper, obviously it retains the ability to drizzle. Um, it's overall just got better stats. It's slightly faster, so 70 base speed is good for stuff like Choice Scarf or Agility. It's possibly Choice Scarf um, or Tailwind, especially if you want to use that. Or even just moves that drop speed. So, for example, Sludge Sling and Bubble Barrage drop the opponent's speed stat. You know, then you cannot speed them easier. Or Icy Wind, you know, that kind of thing. Um... So that's nice, all right? It's, a, it's it's solid speed tier. It's fitting. I don't think any faster fits Pelipper. It's a giant fat pelican. So, yeah. Um, I a lot of hacks just give it like 120 base defense, and I just I think that's stupid. I mean, yeah, he has this like giant pouch, but uh, you know, 100 base defense is already kind of weirdly high for it. Let alone fucking 120. Like that's just so excessive and, and nonsensical to me. So instead, I I opted to um it still has a slight boost to its defense, but instead I opted to give it more HP and special defense, so it's a lot bulkier now. Um, you know, again, with the high power levels in attack, it definitely needs that. Um, you know, 75 base HP, I think, fits. It's four fit. It's a pretty giant bird. It has this giant pouch that's, like, super fat. So I think 75 base HP fits pretty well. I even considered 80 or even 85, but I opted for 75. And then um, it actually has a decent usable 65 base attack. It's not great, but you can use it with stuff like Seed Bomb and Knock Off um, and Payback and stuff because you don't get coverage moves, like, for takedown, that kind of stuff. You don't get moves like that for special sets so um you know for very specific things you could always teach seed bomb say for example if the trainer in front of you has like a water ground type or something else you know that is really weak to seed bomb you can use that uh versus them it's not the greatest thing in the world but it's it's decent um it's just there also for base that total reasons um also another thing i need to mention now because i figure i may as well mention it now is the other ability so um i went i went back and forth on a lot of different options um there are how many water flying types are there in this hack four there are four of them mantine gyarados pelipper swana and then there's actually one more that's new um but i won't spoil it what that pokemon will be but i'm sure those of you who are familiar with this stuff might know what it is already um so there's five technically but one of them doesn't really count because it changes types that's a little hint i guess it changes its type depending on sort of specific circumstances but anyways all right uh, it doesn't matter the uh, point is is that it has pretty steep competition um uh, gyarados is berserk and air late and it's very offensive and actually not that quick but it's pretty tanky and you know very very powerful 125 in both offenses mantine you can go watch the videos for gyarados and mantine by the way uh mantine is uh you know really tanky and pretty fast and strong and it has swift swim and stuff uh, so that's a great mod and guarding gale so it uh it's not weak to electric or rock or it's two times weak to electric and it's only uh, that's the only weakness which is pretty sick um so pelipper you know has some steep competition there however pelipper has fucking drizzle all right and i'm not gonna spoil what swana has but swana is gonna be super great too so don't worry um but yeah pelipper is just like super solid man it's, it's a boring mon but it's very good it's just a sol it's a tanky strong water flying type with drizzle and then i gave it an ability so i was kind of torn between an ability for it um i considered a couple things i considered i considered three abilities mostly um heavily so i considered Garden Gale at one point, but then I opted to give that to Mantine instead, um, because it's just a lot more fitting and better for Mantine. Um, so that one is out of the picture, but I considered Simple, Unaware, and uh, Metabolism, which is a new ability that works like Cheek Pouch, which fits, you know, given the giant pouch. Um, I thought it would be pretty cool to get some HP for eating a berry, but it's like, like that's so situational compared to just having Drizzle. Um, so it was mostly, but like, realistically, it was between Simple and... Uh, uh, unaware, and I I thought simple was really cool, but honestly, all I could give it was simple would be simple swords dance, maybe simple bulk up, and then simple uh, stockpile and amnesia. So defensively, it'd be a pretty good ability, but kind of boring, and also doesn't fit that well. It's not that stupid. It's not like known for being stupid. It's just it just looks stupid, which is why I give it unaware. Um, also because it has this giant bill and it carries things around, so I think uh, having unaware fits pretty nicely. Um, so. 
Unaware is also a lot more useful than simple for Pelipper. Uh, again, because for setup, like it doesn't have that much great stuff with simple, so Unaware is a lot better. Um, unaware is still situational. Of course, Drizzle is going to be your ability most of the time, but in this hack, you do have access to infinite use ability capsules, so you can easily just switch between Drizzle or Unaware as needed. So for totem battles, for example, Unaware plus Haze is great. For any offensive threat, uh, Haze plus Unaware is great. It shuts down all kinds of boosting Pokemon with all kinds of boosting moves. Tons of Pokemon in this hack have access to very, very, very powerful boosting options, so completely shutting those down is always a great trait to have. There is only, I believe, like maybe 12 or 13 underwear Pokemon in the whole hack, so, you know, Pelipper being one of those is very valuable for Pelipper. Um, and again, there also might be some cases where you don't need Drizzle, or Drizzle actually actively hinders your team. Say, for example, you're doing a Team Lock Nuzlocke, and you have a Del Pelipper on your team, but you actually need to run a Sun team for the specific boss fight. Okay, then run unaware, even if it's useless for that boss fight, if nothing on their opponent's side has any sort of boosting option, which I doubt it, they probably have some way to boost, even with a move, like a Power Punch, a Charge Beam, that kind of thing. They'll probably be able to boost their stats in some way. Um, so, you know, ignoring that is always great. But even if you don't ignore any boosts, it's still nice to not have Drizzle for some situations. So, yes, it is situational, but it is a very good ability nonetheless. Um, and I figured it fits really nicely, especially because in this hack, you can swap your abilities whenever you want. So that's really cool. Um, also, Infinite EV training is good for Pelipper. You know, you might want to run a fast special attacking set for one fight, and then in the next fight, you might want to run a max HP, max defense, and just run super tanky sets. Um, Assault Vest is pretty good on it, too. You know, all kinds of good stuff. I mean, it depends on the situation, of course, but it's always solid. Um, uh, it, despite having 30 less physical attack than special attack, I did opt to give it uh, good physical moves earlier on. So it gets most ones get Brave Bird and Waterfall and all these other powerful moves later in the game. But Pelipper actually gets them in the mid 40s. So he gets 120 base power payback at level 38. He gets raise, uh, Brave Bird and Waterfall at 42 and 44. Waterfall being water type close combat. And then he has other really strong stuff. Uh, even like Dual Wing Bait, which is 90 base power overall at level 24, which is pretty early for uh, those standards. You know, uh, Wingle also has a usable 55 physical attack and 65 special attack so it's a mixed attacker kind of because it has that big old beak i thought you know decent physical attacks that isn't that weird on it um and wingle is a lot faster and as for wingle's abilities they're just placeholders until you evolve um you know useful early game stuff bird's eye view makes it so that its stats cannot be dropped so you know it's just nice for early game a lot of stat dropping moves baby doll eyes, baby doll eyes tearful look that kind of thing um it's nice to be immune to those. Nothing that crazy. And then your other ability is also very situational, but solid. Uh, and Gale Wings, obviously this is nerfed Gale Wings, uh, you know, Gen 7 plus Gale Wings. So it's not great, especially because you already have a good 95 base speed stat anyways. But, you know, maybe versus Hala, maybe he has a Pokemon that outspeeds you or he has a priority move or something um, that you want to outspeed. You know, if you're full HP, you can run, you know, Gale Wings Fury Pex or Gale Wings Pluck or Air Cutter and, you know, hit them where uh, where it hurts um could also be decent for a rock winded although you're probably you will most like you'll definitely be evolved in time for a rock winded so not really relevant um but, you know still a decent ability you know you could use it against a couple of trainer battles um for sure if they do have a pokemon that happens to outspeed you however if you look at the speed tier guide um not that many pokemon outspeed you um at that point in the game uh, you are on the upper echelon there's like elekid ghastly doug uh diglett cadabra Mankey, zubat Taylor. Pidgeotto, Apom, Staryu, Dodrio, sorry, Doduo, Ponyta, Grovile, Voltorb. So, it's, I mean, a decent amount of mods that you could use Gale Wings on. Um, not to mention, it also works with when uh, the opponent uses a priority move. And again, every Pokemon gets at least one to two priority moves when they uh, when you catch them at level five. So, you know, uh, prioritizing those is pretty cool. It's a situational thing, but you do have access to infinite ability capsules. Otherwise, I'd say just run Bird's Eye View to not worry about stat drops. So, simple as that. Just solid abilities. It's just a decently strong, fast offensive Pokemon, you know, for early game. Uh, decent versus Hala. Pretty boring and self explanatory. And then obviously Pelipper is where it gets interesting. Um, Pelipper also has a lot of good utility uh, with stuff like uh, Feather Dance. Haze with Unaware is great. Feather Dance drops attack by two, that's great. Uh, Z Supersonic gives plus two special attacks. So you can use that on sweeper sets with like agility or something. Uh, Z Soak will also give you a plus two special attack boost, which is pretty fun. Um, and also, like, you know, we'll remove the opponent's stab and make them a pure water type and stuff. Um, Z, uh, sorry, excuse me. Whirlwind in general is good. Uh, Whirlwind uh, is priority now. However, it only has one PP, so you can essentially force the opponent out for free. So, say, for example, with Unaware, Whirlwind is a great combo because, say, the opponent has uh, a boost up and they're, like, you know, gonna sweep you or they're super strong and they're dealing a lot of damage to your Pokemon and, you know, they've gotten out of control. You maybe you aren't planning it properly or something and something got out of control and now it has, like, plus five attack and it's looking at you in the face. You know, switch on that Pelipper. You know, take the hit because you have unaware, and then click whirlwind. Boom. So Haze or whirlwind both phase the opponent out. Obviously, Haze is 
re, you know, reliable that you can do it multiple times throughout the battle, while Whirlwind is only once, but it is priority, and um, it forces them out, so you could actually use that to your advantage and set up on another Pokemon, say, for example, if they have Taunt, um, and you can set up with stuff like Amnesia or Stockpile, Stockpile and Iron Defense by a tutor. I thought Iron Defense was kind of a weird choice, but I figured why not, it had, you know, it's kind of funny, and, uh, you know, it has, a, it has that big old be uh, beak, I guess, pouch, beak pouch, so why not give it Iron Defense, who cares? Um, what else is there? Again, also, it's a very strong mon. That's, I need to clarify that. Like, it can totally run offensive sets. 95 special attack is good, but when you consider the drizzle boost, it's really strong, man. I mean, that's just obviously strong. I mean, 95 special attack plus Hydro Plump plus Hurricane or Surf or any other, you know, Hydro Cannon, all these powerful water type moves. You can also check out what all what I did to buff all of these moves or change them all in the description down below. There is a very detailed link to the Google Sheets. And Excuse me. Ugh. Oh, there's a detailed link to the Google Sheets, and you can just check out all these changes for yourself. Um, I opted to keep Shockwave. It's a weird, as stupid as fucking move that they get, but they already learned it, so why not just keep it? Who cares? Um, it's funny, and it could be useful for certain situations because it is priority. It's 55 base power plus two priority. Again, check out all these changes to all these moves, as well as these new moves in the description down below, and uh, you can see all this for yourself, as well as all the other buffs to all the other Pokemon. Or, of course, you can just um, you know, watch my other videos if you would rather not look at the sheet but i would definitely recommend it it's very useful um yeah really that's not too much that's too much to talk about i mean weather ball is very strong stab for level 22 uh 90 base power and has a 50 percent chance to dodge spade uh, sp death by one which is very good obviously you have stuff like scald and bubble barrage and brine which are also good moves but water um weather ball is uh the strongest water type move you have until you get the surf tm so that's good um Underwear is great. Yeah, not so much else to talk about, really. I mean, I gave it some decent coverage. I didn't... Not too much coverage made sense, but especially it has Ice Beam, Sludge Bomb, Sludge Fling, Sludge Wave, Signal Beam, Shock Wave, uh, an Uproar post-game. You know, nothing crazy, but it has decent enough coverage. Um, but overall, you're basically just spamming. Like, you know, late, late game, you'll be spamming, like, you know, with these and Hurricane and then Water and Stab and stuff. Obviously, you're going to be switching your uh, sets around for each specific fight. You know, some sets, some fights you might want the more offensive sets. Some fights you might want purely defensive um, or utility. Either way, it's a good mon. Uh, stockpile Swallow Speedwet is great. Stockpile is buffed in that Swallow now is priority and heals you by full no matter what. So, for example, if you click Stockpile just once and then you click Swallow um, 10 turns later, as long as you didn't switch out, you, you heal to full. So, say you Stockpile, then you do a couple other things, you know, you... I don't know what you would be doing, but, you know, something with utility, you know, so haze, whatever the fuck you want to do. A haze wouldn't work, actually. You would remove your own boosts, but, um, you know, just any utility option. Um, and then once you swallow, you get that priority. It's essentially like a max potion, like it's a priority item. Obviously, healing items are disabled in this hack, so having access to reliable healing with roost and swallow and all this stuff is very good. Um, so yeah, stockpile swallow is a cool combo. And then spew out is also pretty good. Um, if you want to use that, it's a, a very, it's like a, basically with one stockpile up, spew out is 100 base power and then it gains 100 base power for each stockpile boost you have. Um, and that also always lowers the opponent's special defense stat by four. And that's a good poison type coverage move if you don't want to use sludge bomb or sludge wave on the stockpile set. It is a little bit gimmicky, but it's good nonetheless. Um, yeah, powerful water stabs late game, especially hydro cannon, which is 150 base power and drops your special attack stat by two. Hurricane's great, Hydro Pump's great. I mean, all this stuff is good stuff. I don't know what else to really say here. It's just, it's Pelipper. Um, not too many changes here. It's just overall buffed and, uh, you know, keeps up with the uh, overall power levels of the hack. Uh, you know, also physically has some solid coverage, you know. It's, it's got everything it needs, man. I don't know what else to say here. So I'm going to leave it off here uh, for the sake of going on for too long. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I, I'm sure most people won't really care about Pelipper that much, including me. But again, I still... I, it's a good mod. Like, I would not be upset if I got it. I kind of would because it's boring and there's so many other cool changes. But, like, it's still a good mod. Like, if, especially if you need a rain team, you know, then go ahead and run that Pelipper. Um, in general, it's just a solid mod. So, yeah. Um, I'm sure the one Pelipper stand is going to be in the comments like, Oh, actually, I love Pelipper. Do's, do's I love Pelipper. And I'll tell you that your opinion is wrong. Uh, I'm kidding. No, it's a good mod, man. I, I'm happy with how it turned out. You know, very solid changes. It's bulky, tanky. Um, I opted to give more spadef. It's kind of weird that it's specially defensive now, but, you know, I mean, just to, it's equally as weird as the physical defense. It's just a tanky mod because of the fat bird. You know, who cares? The you know, fucking Mantan is 140 special defense. I mean, I, I, I've been trying to make stats more logical, but I'm not going to completely remove all the soul from Pokemon. I'm not going to try to make everything super... I'm not going to be super pedantic about it and make every single stat spread. 100% logical. I mean, some Pokemon are just going to have stats that are kind of weirdly high or weirdly low, depending on what they are, you know, it is what it is. Abilities also are extremely big deals. Stats are not even close to everything. Stats are honestly one of the least important things. I would say typing and abilities and move pools are more important overall. Obviously, if your stats are shit, then it's a big deal. But 
Okay, this is this is not the end of the video because I'm going off on very unrelated tangents. So, um, yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna leave it off there. Thank you for listening. Um, all I ask in return uh, is that you would leave a like on the video, drop a comment down below uh, on my videos. That would help with the algorithm and get my videos recommended to more people. Um, so, you know, if this popped up and you're recommended and you're new here, uh, definitely consider subscribing. There is a lot cooler and more in-depth changes for other Pokemon that you should be checking out either in the description below with Google Sheets or just from watching my other videos, whichever one you prefer, which you, excuse me, whichever one you would prefer. Um, tons of awesome, awesome in-depth changes, so you should totally check those out. Um, if this is your first impression on my channel, don't let this be like, you know, it's kind of lame, underwhelming changes. Not that it's, it probably is good. I'm just a hater, man. I'm just a Pelipper hater. I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> but it is a great mod. Of course, it's a great mod. So, yeah. Um, I'll leave it off there. Uh, also, Discord server in the in the description below. I'm sure most of you guys know the drill by this point, but this is mostly for new viewers. So, yeah. Discord server down below. You can join my server. Talk to me in there. You know, uh, it's got like, a, I think like 300 people now. So, you can talk to people in there. It's growing. Yeah, that's about it. Thank you for listening, and goodbye.